So, if you are watching this video, because you want to know how to make this thing. Okay, so either way to make a radial array. First of all, let's enable snap to grid because I like it. Let's move to geometry nodes section. Let me adjust the layout for more space to work. That's nice. I don't like the default cube so delete it and add a mesh plane. Make a new geo node setup. So first of all we want a circle. A curve circle cause it is radius right. To add a node press shift plus A and type curve circle. Add a curve a circle node. Now we have a circle and we can play with the parameters, the resolution and the radius. Now to add a mesh component on the points we want a node called instance on points node. So again press shift plus A and get instance on points node. Add an instance on points node. To see the circle just add join geometry node after instance on points node and connect curve circle to join geometry node. Let's add a mesh cube as instance mesh. Now you can see how it is looking. Okay, now we will make adjustments to rotation and scale of the cube instance. We will arrange the nodes to get default rotation and scale and random rotation and scale. Add a combine XYZ node to extract the Z parameter and then connect it to a random value node. Let's set max value to 360 degree for more range to Z rotation and you can slide the seed for more randomness. Similarly, we will add and connect random value node to scale input. And here connect the value socket to XYZ input to affect all parameters. Let's make a node group of it containing all the nodes we have arranged till now. For creating a node group, press Ctrl plus G. So by creating a node group, we will have more control over the nodes. I will name it Radial Array cause the tutorial is about that. Perfect. You can name it anything you like. I will go with this. Now to control the parameters using only node group, we will take some input information from nodes and connect it to the group input. Now we have achieved some basic control to manipulate defined parameters. Now we have our basic radial array, but we want it with some height. You know like wall thing. So, to make the height of our basic circle, add curve line node. You can see a thin curve line. That's where we will be placing our basic circle. To instance the base circle again, we have to add instance on points node. Add an instance on points node. Now we can control the height parameter. But you can see that we only have two instances because 
It depends on how many points the curve line have. So, to add more points. Add a resample curve node to create more points in between the top and bottom circle. Okay, so let me organize the node group for better view. Now we are seeing that everything is random. The rotation. Scale. What if we don't want randomness? For that we will make a switch like it is either random or default. So to make that we will add a switch node which gives us two values. A true and a false. I will set it for both the rotation and scale. Now, we have it. Now I want instances amount and the height parameter. So, I will connect it to the Z component of curve line. Now similarly to our base circle, we will make random rotation and scale to the curve line. And then we will connect it to our group input. Sorry I forgot to set the rotation to normal. No worries. I will set a switch for default rotation to normal rotation. So if you have made it this far, well congratulations. Now you know how to make a radial array with Z height. You can play with the parameters, however you like. And that's it. For more tutorials subscribe the channel. Thank you guys for watching this video.